Hello, I'm Daniel Eckroff from Iron Lamb and Surpress, and I am so fucking pleased to be on TV Rock Live. I'm Daniel Eckerot and I've been involved with uh, metal music since I was born basically. I got the f a KISS record in 1976 when I was four years old at Christmas and since then I've been playing metal. I play now in a band called Iron Lamb which is a traditional heavy metal band I would say, in motorhead vein and then I have a band called a Surpress. I play death metal with some progressive touches and then I also write books and I have my own publishing house and I've written especially a book called Swedish Death Metal about the early Swedish Death Metal scene uh, it's been quite successful and so I'm pretty happy about that and I also have some other bands and I also have a black metal band called uh, Tyrant who's still going though we don't play so often and I have another band now called The Third Storm which uh, Third Storm was actually one of Sweden's first black metal band but they quit in 1988 but now they're back again and I have joined on bass so it's um, extreme music all the time for me <laughs> It was a friend of mine, while we were drunk, we said, oh, let's do books. And we started the books about cinema. But then we realized we have to write about music, because music is the most important thing to us. And he made a book about Swedish progressive music. And I said, I grew up with death metal. I went to every death metal show when I was a teenager. So I said, I never had a camera. I never kept a diary. So I must document uh, all these great bands and also my own youth. So I started doing it. It was a small, small project first. I was thinking, yeah, a little book. Yeah. But then it turned a very big book and I, got, uh, I released it myself first. But then I got offers from America, from Germany, from France, from Italy, from Poland. So now it's out everywhere. So this little talk when we were drunk has grown big. <laughs> The Death Metal book took me about six years to make. Uh, it was quite difficult because I didn't remember that much because, you know, we were drinking beer all the times. And when I interviewed the guys from the bands, they, they had the same problems. <laughs> so it was quite difficult. But then I, I got collected all the demo tapes. When I started this book, this was before the, all this information. There was no information on the internet. So I had to collect all the demo tapes from uh, friends who collect. So I sat for like two years and just listening to music and then started writing. And it, it was quite difficult to get it all together. My first idea with the death metal book was just the part now who is the end. I mean, the, the A to Z of Swedish death metal bands. But then I realized I, I have to write the story as well. So it turned into a much, much bigger project. And I, I, the way it turned out, I, I never imagined that in the beginning. And I, it got so big that I had to cut out some. I wanted first to include all black metal bands, all fresh metal, but, but it was impossible. So it, it turned out much bigger than I thought from the beginning. I made three books actually this far, one about Italian uh, horror films, one about Swedish horror films and then this death metal book which uh, is by far the best. And I, I want to make another book about music. I tried for a year to my, uh, make a book about Bathory but uh, for some reason we, I couldn't finish it because uh, the, the, the family of Quarton didn't want, they said he, he wouldn't want a book so I, I didn't want to make it. But now I have a, another idea to, to write uh, a book about extreme Swedish punk rock from the 80s. And uh, I think it will happen, but it's going to take another six years. <laughs> well, my, I play in a lot of groups. Iron Lamb, uh, 
a Surpress, and then also have a Fur Storm and a Tyrant, and also De La Morte a little bit. Uh, Iron Lamb is. Um, we all know, know each other from before because we played in bands together, like Incision and, and, and Tyrant and um, Repugnant. Before this, we played death metal and black metal. But uh, five, six years ago, we decided to start a band. We played uh, the music we actually love the most, which is you know punk rock and heavy metal from the period 76 to 1983. Ramones, Poison ID, Motorhead, uh, Finn Lizzy, ACDC, stuff like that. And uh, it's turned out well and uh, it's going good and uh, we don't sound anything like any other Swedish band now, so I'm pretty happy with that. A surplus is uh, the singer of a surplus and me. We, we had an extreme punk band before called Disconto. And he called me up like five years ago and said, I have a new band going, do you, do you want to join? And it turned out to be a surplus. And we, I mean, we play death metal, the bass is death metal, but our influences is uh, crustcore punk and progressive music like Camel and King Crimson and Voivod. So we take those influences and make death metal out of it. So it, it turned out a little bit different. And then we record in our rehearsal room so we get a specific sound that is dirty and, you know, the, the old way, like old death metal demos. So. I hope we do something a little bit different. In a month, exactly, I'm going to record an album with my black metal band First Storm. And we have a lot of gigs booked with both Iron Lamps and Usurpress. And Usurpress has gotten some offers from a little bit bigger record labels than we have now, so we, we're gonna see if we're gonna do something about that. And then Surpress has made, uh, we have recorded a demo for half the new album, so we're gonna make the other half, I think this summer, and record it later this year. So it's gonna be a lot of music, <laughs> as always. And then I might also start my new book project, because I have a friend who will go in as a sponsor and help me, so I, th I think there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. At the crossroad, Wallace Hughes, get to run away from the dead and blues. Well, I'm really happy that the book is translated into French. I was really happy about that and I really want to come and play here again because France has been great when we played it before. And with Della Morte in '97, it was fucking amazing in Toulouse. And Tyrant played in uh, in Paris in Locomotive in I don't know, six, seven years ago. It was unbelievably good. And also we had a French label. Tyrant had Listenable, good label. And Della Morte had Osmose, which is the fucking best label in the world. Hervé or Boys, he's the coolest guy in in the record business. Uh, I really hope he comes to see me now in Paris. <laughs> So, I really want to play Hellfest because all the guys who play this, it's, it's the best festival. So, we hope we can come here. Book us. <laughs>